Hey everyone, welcome back to The Noodle Life. Today, we are gonna be trying these Lo Si rice noodles. Now, Lo Si translates to snail or like a river snail. This area of China, Liuzhou, is known for their river snail noodle soups. I've had a few in the past. I will link to them in this video and the description below. But these are some of my favorite noodles in terms of flavor and all the complexity that they have. I also love the fact that in these packages, there's all sorts of goodies to find and you never know what you're gonna get. Sometimes they're good, sometimes not. So today we'll see how these are. You can definitely feel a lot of different components in here. And looking at the picture, normally when they put these photos on here, they add a bunch of different stuff to the noodles. According to what I read on the back, this seems about right. This seems like the stuff we should be getting in here. Now it probably looks better in the photo, but we'll see what they look like in real life. Okay, so there's almost 10 ounces of stuff in here. Let's see, on the back, most of this is in Chinese, although they do show you all the list of ingredients. It's not as much as I would expect. I've seen some where it's just like this laundry list of stuff, but it's both in Chinese and English. There are instructions down here and then the nutrition facts. One interesting thing about these is there's two servings in this bag, 380 calories per serving, and 2260 milligrams of sodium per serving. That's quite a bit, but what we're gonna do today is actually just make this whole bag and I'll see if I can eat the whole thing or if I have to split it up. All right, so enough looking at the package. Let's get inside and see what these have to offer. Let's see. There's a little tear tab. You know what? I like to keep these bags in good condition. So what is this? No Wang. Interesting. Okay, let's cut these open. Try not to cut the other contents inside, which I kind of did, but that's okay. We're gonna be opening them up anyway. And there's everything you have in there. No smell coming from inside the bag, which is good because sometimes you're getting smells from some of the different components in here and they should be sealed up. So it's not, you don't want to get a lot of scent from inside the package when you open these up. All right, so the first thing we have that I accidentally cut open. So these are the rice noodles. No English on there, so, yep those let's see what else do we have okay so this is either the soup base or the vinegar let's see what else is in here uh, let's see here okay this is the vinegar so vinegar soup base let's see what are these these must be the pickled green beans. Uh, hmm. This might be the chili oil. These are peanuts. Always easy when they give you a photo of what it is. Well, these are always interesting. This is it. I, what I think is fried bean curd. They come in little chips and they almost look like fried noodles, but when you put them in the soup, they absorb all the flavors. Sometimes they're really good. Other times they're quite stale. So I'm curious to see what these are like. All right. And the last package, these are gonna be the pickled bamboo shoots. Okay, so that is everything. Let's get the noodles cooked and we'll start putting this soup together. 
Okay, I was double checking the instructions and they actually say to put the noodles into cold water and then cook it. So let me get these out. I've already cut a hole in here. So here they are, kind of a block of rice noodles. They look fairly thin, but they should come out well. Okay, so I've been cooking these for about six or seven minutes. They are not completely done yet. They're still a bit too chewy, but according to the directions, I am going to dump these out and then I will start the other process of cooking these. Add another 500 milliliters of water. Put these back in. Turn the fire back on. And now this is the part where we add the bean curd. There isn't too much, but this does expand quite a bit. Now, I want to try one of these before we toss them in the soup. Mmm. Hmm. You know, sometimes you get these, they're really crisp and fresh. Other times you get them, they're stale. I would say these are just in the middle of the two of those. There's not much of a crunch to them. They taste slightly stale, but the thing with these though is you never know until the soup is done and you taste these to see whether or not they're any good. Okay, I boiled these for about two minutes. Steaming hot. All right, before we start adding things, I wanna try this bean curd to see what it tastes like now that it's been cooked. It's actually pretty good. Now that it's rehydrated, has a very nice bite to it. It's not rubbery or stale. It kind of melts in your mouth, which is really nice. And I think once this picks up the flavor of the soup bases, it's going to be really good. So I would say let's start with the soup bases, and then we'll move over to the toppings. Grab my knife. Okay, let's take a taste of this before I put it in. It's kind of thick. Oh yeah, that tastes like a river snail soup base, all right. That's tasty. Make sure I get all the good stuff out. There we go. Okay, now this is, I think, the chili oil. Let's see. Yep, that's exactly what it is. Mmm, that's good chili oil. Oh, and it's got some heat to it. Oh man, <coughs> that's creeping up. Oh, it's gonna be a spicy soup. Mm -hmm. I'm only expecting this to get hotter and I might be sweating for this video. Okay, this is gonna be the vinegar. Oh, I gotta take a taste. Mm. So that's flavored vinegar. Tastes like some garlic and other things in there. Okay, we got our soup base. Let's go for the green beans. These things are really packed in here tight. There we go. Look at those. Mm. Hmm. 
They have a nice vinegar and pepper flavor. Still crunchy. It tastes pretty fresh. And there's some heat with these too. Oh man, this, this soup is just getting spicier and spicier. Okay, the bamboo shoots. Oh man. All I see is more red, which can only mean more spice. These look like fairly substantial pieces of bamboo shoot. Look at that. Oh, oh. Oh, that is not good. Oh. These are like, there's some pickle flavor in there that was not good in the sprouts are kind of mushy. I don't know, maybe it'll work in the soup, but eating that on its own is terrible. Oh, that is not good. I left the weird aftertaste. I'm glad I saved these to the end. These are the peanuts. Let's see. Come here, peanuts. Save me. Mm. These are really fresh, nice, and got a good bite to them. Mm. No salt, but you don't need salt when there's so much in the soup. Okay. Oh man, I don't know if I should have put that bamboo in there, but we'll see. So let's give a, you know what, before I taste the noodle, grab my spoon. There's a lot of the chili oil on top. Let's try this. Oh, that's good. <clears throat> but it's hot. <coughs> oh. Oh, man. Woo. This is good. I like spicy stuff. All right, let's give this a try. Here are the noodles. <sighs> Mm. These are good. If you've ever had river snail noodles, that river snail flavor is really coming through. And, you know, it's not, I can't say it tastes like chicken or beef or anything else because it's completely different. It has a good savory flavor to it. There's a lot of chili spice in here. You're getting the flavor from the vinegar, the garlic. All of that is coming through, and I do think the flavor from these guys is starting to get into the soup. So let me try one of these on their own and see if it's changed. Hmm. Yeah, it's definitely mellowed out. It's much better. So that initial shock has gone away. That flavor is getting into the soup and it's complementing everything else in here. So let's see if we can get a kind of a combo. Get a bunch of different components all at once. Got a lot of the bean curd in this one. You know, I'm really starting to dig the bean curd in soups like these because what it does is it soaks up all the flavor and then when you take it with some of the noodle, it acts as a flavor saver. It's almost like a battery of flavor that releases in your mouth when you start chewing to complement the noodles because the noodles don't suck up nearly as much flavor as these things do. You know what I'm gonna do? Put some noodles in there. I'm gonna take some of the broth and just kind of shovel this all into my mouth. Let's see, get a bean curd. This is the best way to do it if you can't pick up all this stuff at once with your chopsticks. Uh, where's the bamboo shoot? Do this the easy way. Whoops. Okay. So that's going to be all one bite. My eyes are watering. It's so spicy, but man, is that good. You know, 
I take back everything I said about these bamboo shoots in the beginning. These have become the hero of this dish. When you mix it with everything, you have that savory and spicy flavor coming through from the soup broth. But then these had to kind of this refreshing pickled flavor to balance everything out. So you've got hot, spicy, savory, and then the pickle flavor is just the perfect opposite of everything else. Hope that makes sense. It does to me. All right, we just gotta have some more of these noodles. Whoop. You know, I actually like adding the soup broth with different components here, just into one kind of little bowl that I can shovel into my mouth. All right. Mm. Yeah, and these peanuts, when they're fresh, oh man, they're so good with the noodles and everything. Because most of the other stuff in this soup, even the green beans, once they've been, once they've been sitting in here for a little bit, they start to lose their crunch, but not the peanuts. Oh, but man, this heat is really building up. Okay, I'm gonna finish up these noodles and then when I'm done, I'll get back to you and tell you what I think about everything. I'm all done and I think it was a good idea not to try finishing the broth because my mouth right now is on fire. But these noodles were absolutely delicious. Now, when I picked these up at the store, this pack was $4.99, which is on the expensive side for these types of noodles. Usually you see them for about $3 to $3.50, but at almost $5, these are on the pricey side, but well worth it. But overall, these noodles, awesome. The noodles themselves were really good, very high quality, good mouth feel. They weren't gummy, they were just right for rice noodles. The soup broth itself had a lot of great flavor, very spicy if you like that sort of thing. But I would say it's perfect for one person. It does say two servings on the back. And you're looking at about 760 calories for the whole bag, which, you know, isn't too bad. It's a good meal. There is a lot of sodium, so I would try to stay away from as much of the soup base as possible so you don't get all of that. Otherwise, this makes an excellent meal on a cold day, or if you're on a hot day, you just want to sweat it all out, go for this stuff. It's awesome. And that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I'll see you next time on A Noodle Life. Bye.